Cytoskeleton is a dynamic structure. You need to form cytoskeleton. You need to depolymerize cytoskeleton. There's plenty of actin monomers present in the cell that, will call, that can cause actin pre-existing actin filaments to elongate. This doesn't happen because it is regulated. Let me show you how actin polymerization is, uh, is uh, regulated or actin elongation is regulated. Let's look at that. Critical concentration for actin in test tube is one micromolar. The soluble monomer concentration in cells is 50 to 200 micromolar. So we have great excess of these monomers present in the cell and yet they still do not add on to existing placents and form filaments. Why? Although there is an abundant uh, subunit pool, they also contain a special proteins which can bind the monomers and prevent them from adding on to existing plus ends of existing microtubule filaments. Actin monomers, the type of protein that binds these monomers is called thymosin. This binds the actin monomers sort of like a lentriculin does. When it binds actin monomers, it puts them in a locked state. The conformation is such that they cannot, they cannot add on to existing plus ends. So when actin unable to add on to existing plus ends, the filaments will not elongate. So how do cells recruit actin monomers from this sequestered pool and use them for, for polymerization? Of course, there will be events when you need to make actin filaments, and if all monomers have been sequestered by thymosin, how do you elongate actin filaments? Let me introduce you to another protein called profilin. Profilin binds to the face of actin monomer opposite the ATP binding site, binding cleft, and blocking the side of monomer that would associate with the minus end. And also, once the profilin has uh, bound actin monomer, it will prevent thymosin to bind actin monomers. So here we have profilin molecule. This uh, molecule in the blue is profilin. It bound to an actin monomer. This is the ATP binding cleft. Once the profilin binds the actin monomer, it will prevent thymosin from binding this monomer. Actin monomers bound to profilin can be added on to the plus ends of actin filaments. So profilin can be used to uh, release the sequestered actin monomers and include them into actin pool, which is available for polymerization. As soon as soon this monomer is added on to the actin filament, it goes through a conformational change and that because of that conformational change, profilin comes off. So profilin is basically making sure that our monomer doesn't bind the thymosin and it is available for polymerization. But once it has been added to the filament, the profilin comes off and you have elongated your actin filament. Here, uh, what I've just said is in graphic form. So we have free actin monomer. This free actin monomer can be added onto the plus end, but it cannot if it is bound to thymosin complex. So this is how you regulate. You produce a lot of actin monomers, but you sequester them using the thymosin complex. If you need to polymerize actin, you can activate another molecule called profilin. It will take the monomer from, take the monomers out of the pool, which are attached to thymosin. Monomers that are attached to profilin can be added on to the growing plus ends of the uh, actin filaments. So you basically have to activate profilin at the site where you require actin polymerization. Otherwise, actin filaments will not go, grow on their own because organization of cytoskeleton is crucial for the cell and it will not allow the formation of uh, cytoskeletal elements, in this case, the actin filaments, anywhere they want to polymerize. Several uh, intracellular mechanisms regulate the activity of profilin, for example, phosphorylation and inositol binding. I hope you remember inositol from our signaling modules. Profilin is localized at the cytosolic phase of the plasma membrane. At this location, extracellular signals can produce explosive local actin polymerization, for example, activating profilin and extension of actin-rich motile structures such as philopodia and lamellopodia. So if a cell gets a positive signal at a particular site, it will result in activation of profilin. Profilin, once it is activated, 
actin will polymerize very very quickly and the plasma membrane will be pushed in the site towards where the positive signal was resulting in formation of this filopodia or lamellopodia going in the direction of the signal which resulted in activation of profilin besides binding to actin and uh, phospholipids profilin also binds to other intracellular proteins that have uh, domains rich in proline these proteins also may help localize profilin to sites where rapid actin assembly may be required these mechanisms can define the sites where profilin acts and results in controlled polymerization of actin filaments